Hey, what's going on guys? Archer and Mark here, back with another figure review. And today I have for you from the Captain America the Winter Soldier toy line. This is Precision Strike Winter Soldier. Uh, it's an interesting figure. We'll go in a little more detail in just a moment. First, let's take a look at the packaging. And you see on the top, really uh, cool pose of Captain America flinging his mighty shield. Uh, the Marvel logo and the movie logo, Captain America the Winter Soldier. And we go down is another image of the figure with his rocket launcher, and it says launches rocket. Uh, these figures all have super soldier gear. Again, you see there's the name of the figure, Precision Strike Winter Soldier, the Hasbro logo, ages four and up. There you have the Avengers Initiative logo. And you see on the side here, it shows how his rocket launcher can fit on the Captain America battle helmet. Okay, which is of course sold separately. Take a look at the back and again another image of the figure with his very big rocket launcher which I'll show you in a moment. Movie logo, Avengers logo again. And you see a little bio here. In the fight for freedom, Captain America battles foes packing an array of diabolical weapons. Fortunately, S.H.I.E.L.D. Outfits, outfits Cap with high-tech gear fit for a super soldier. And again, you see the image of how the, the launcher fits on the helmet, and, you know, super soldier gear, all that stuff. Hasbro.com and Marvel, all that good. Okay, so there is the packaging. Let's get on to the figure. And, uh... I think this is a really cool looking figure. I love the design and the, all the little details on this figure. You know, of course, the, the Winter Soldier has a long history in comics, and I like this movie version. It's, it's a really cool look for, for the character. And uh, I won't go into details on his backstory because I don't want to give any spoiler alerts to anyone that may not know or that maybe hasn't seen uh, the first film. But you see the nice sculpting on the hair and all around the outfit and the belt. Nice little paint touches of silver. Got the little pouches there. Knee pads, boots. You got the face mask. Okay. You have the, the red star there on the mechanical arm, which is done in this nice silver paint. Looks really good. Okay. Uh, the one flaw on this figure is that you have the shoulder joint is not painted silver. Uh, it is painted brown and just makes it stand out. So that's the one bad thing as far as paint apps are concerned. But over really nicely detailed, nicely painted besides that one flaw. And just overall a really cool look. Just very cool and badass. And the, this character looks like he's going to be uh, really interesting to watch on screen from the, from the trailers we've seen. Uh, we'll go over articulation real quick. It's basically the same. If you remember the figures from the first Avengers movie, uh, it's basically the same as that. You have ball jointed neck, ball jointed shoulders, ball jointed elbows, uh, ball jointed hips, and ball jointed knees. So no ankle, wrist, or waist articulation, which is uh, really poor. Uh, you know, the ankle articulation is, that's bad. You know, it, he, he has a little trouble standing up. That's why I put him on this figure stand. And wrist articulation would be really helpful, you know, Waist articulation I can deal with, but the wrist and ankle is, is a big problem for this figure. But sculpted really nice. Uh, if he's just going to be posed on a shelf, I guess the articulation may not be a big issue. Okay, Now we'll go on to accessories, which is very minimal. All he comes with is this big, giant rocket launcher, which just looks ridiculous. Uh, you know, he... You know, it looks okay. It's nicely painted and sculpted and whatnot, but it's just way too big. It's just gigantic. And yeah, it's got this little button, and boom, and there goes the rocket. And honestly, 
I'm throwing this in the garbage. It's garbage. It's junk. Honestly, you know, I know Hasbro's trying to uh, save some money. I'd rather get rid of the stupid giant gimmick accessories, which I know they're geared towards the kids, but I'm sorry. I don't think even the kids like these things. They're they're retarded. Uh, get rid of that. Give us figure stands. You know, this didn't come with the figure. I just borrowed this from a Star Wars figure. I would rather have that or give us a little better articulation, something, than these ridiculous uh, accessories. And that's the only thing he comes with. Uh, he doesn't come with a gun or anything like that. Nothing at all. Uh, so that makes this figure kind of a letdown. I just, I love the sculpting and I love the look in general of this character. So, and he's certainly one of the main villains in the new Captain America movie. So I definitely wanted to pick him up. So the giant accessory aside, I'm still happy with the figure. He could have been a lot better, but he could have been a lot worse as well. So there, so there you go. The Precision Strike Winter Soldier figure from the Captain America Winter Soldier uh, movie coming in April. And, you know, there it is. The good points, the bad points of this figure. So that's up to you guys if you want to pick him up. Uh, I don't. I would say I'm 50-50 as far as uh, recommending him. So uh, I'll leave it up to you guys. When you find him in the stores or you see him online, you can decide for yourself. So... There he is. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and review. As usual, comment, rate, subscribe. And until my next video, so long and have a good day.